Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura Gonzalez. My name is Petrita Perez. No, my name is Laura Gonzalez. And I welcome you to the Coffee Break today, July 3rd, 2024. Hi, Romy Rom and Eklise. E E K L Y S E. I don't know how to pronounce that. Eklise. Welcome to the Coffee Break. Uh, today is Wednesday. And we have oracles. We have the Gospel of Aradia. Boom. We have the Divine Animals Oracle. We have the Celebration of Love. And we have the V-Tarot that we have been using as an Oracle. Fun fact, the Oracle is the conduit. So technically a Tarot and an Oracle deck are both Oracles. But even more technically, <clears throat> I am the oracle, because I am the one telling you. But anyway, who is here for technicalities? Nobody. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I have to begin this show, it's not a show, this um, video by saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the year that I have had more birthday wishes than ever in my life. Hello, Richard. I don't think I have any other year in my life have so much um, happy birthday um, messages. And I am so thankful. My heart is full. Look at my balloon. Oh, you cannot see it. Maybe here. There you go. Another fabulous birthday. <laughs> and yeah, it was it was really fun. So thank you all for reaching out. With that said, let's do our first oracle for today. The Celebration of Love by Ava Sharpman Sullivan. May the divine allow us to see what needs to be seen. May that information be used for the greater good. So be it. We have gentleness. Gentleness. And it says, Angel Ariel, Archangel of Animals and the Environment. animals and the environment so gentleness let's see what's the message there it reads ow la pulga if you don't know what la pulga is okay. gentleness there is an area in your life about your body or the environment that you say one thing but do another Look within and find this area and bring it to the light. Be in integrity. Call for guidance and make things right in this area. All right. There is an area in your life about your body or the environment that you say one thing but do another. Look within and find this area and bring it to the light. Be in integrity. Call for guidance and make things right in this area. So that's the thing. That's the message. Hello, Colorful Arts by Eva. We are going to be uh, together, actually, on July 7th at the Colectivo Anahuac soft opening. Uh, Eva is going to be doing some... Is it a Frida Kahlo painting thing? 
So Eva's gonna be doing that. And that right after they finish, I'm going to be doing uh, tarot readings. So that's gonna be fun. I don't think we ever met in person, Colorful Art by Eva, or maybe we did a long time ago. I don't rem I remember your name certainly, but I don't think we met. Who knows? Anyway, <clears throat> July 7th, soft opening for Colectivo Anahuac, July 13th, Ortonancy Mesli Moon Ceremony, and July 14th, Decolonizing the Goddess, Citlali Nikwe, the Star Goddess. So July is going to have some pretty cool events happening. Check my event right, or better yet, check the newsletter that was sent yesterday if you're not on the mailing list for the newsletter why go on my link tree go on my uh, instagram message and sign up or you can find it here on youtube and facebook okay let's see what the b tarot has for us and we have the six of swords six of swords let's see what's the message on that one and it was right side up six of swords <clears throat> it's kind of going away hello tortas de papa so six of swords Find the places and people that provide you with shelter where the mind and its endless chit chat can be observed as if from the outside. A place where you become the observer of your own thoughts. Interesting. And Barry Max, welcome as well. So, Six of Swords, right side up. Find the places and people that provide you with shelter where the mind and its endless chit chat can be observed as it from the outside. A place where you become the observer of your own thoughts. It was, it is a little bit of a taking distance and quiet in the mind. Similar to that reflection we've been told to do by Archangel something or another. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't I don't do angels or archangels, so I forget the name. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is it, Michael, that came out? For those who've been watching from the beginning. Or Gabriel. I forgot and I already put the uh, deck away. So, <clears throat> we have two more cards. The Divine Animals Oracle. What are y'all's plans for the weekend? Are people having days off? And if so, what are you doing? Are you going to be blowing fireworks? Are you going to have a barbecue? Are you going to hang out with family? Or do you not celebrate? Because I feel some kind of way about this year's 4th of July. But that's all I'm saying about that. So let's see what the next oracle says for us. The Divine Animals Oracle. And we're going to do this thing. We have the dolphin. The dolphin. Richard says, nature, water by a lake, probably. That sounds about as good as it can get. I have plans to stay home and do absolutely nothing. There is an art project that I want to participate that is due on the 7th. So I might be working on that a couple of days. 42... Is it the last card? I think it's the last card. No, there is a 43. Okay, so it's just, just the one to the last. 
Hello, Water Wise Men. So good that you're here. Sitting at home in the AC. Yeah, pretty much sitting at home in the AC trying to finish this artwork. Hopefully, I can submit it. So, the dolphin, the word is happiness. Happiness is not a continuous state, although it is a worthy feeling to seek. Know what makes you happy and do more of this. Happiness has everything to do with your reaction to life rather than what happens to you from outside sources. If you place your happiness solely in the hands of other people, then you will be disappointed. Yes, absolutely. Happiness is not a continuous state, although it is a worthy feeling to seek. Know what makes you happy and do more of this. Happiness has everything to do with your reaction to life rather than what happens to you from outside sources. If you place your happiness solely in the hands of other people, then you will be disappointed. So happiness is basically homemade. <laughs> You have to make your own happiness. So. <clears throat> oh, Richard, I understood now. Um, Richard says sitting by the lake and then going home in the AC. I hear you. So, folks, you helped me. You helped me. You heard me saying earlier um, that we're going to have this soft opening for Colectivo Anahuac on Sunday. And I'm going to be there reading tarot from, like, from two to five, I think, or two to six, something like that. And then we have the um, Tonancy Mesley ceremony on the 13th of July. And I hope that I meet you there. Uh, I'm also working hard, really hard, on the Patreon. It's so close to be a reality right now. I think it will be a, a couple of weeks before we um, have it out out and about of course we're going to launch it and we're going to buy it a lot of people and it's going to be pretty cool I hope I hope that you'll like it and most importantly towards the end of the month this month we have the um, Tezcalipoca workshop and that Tezcalipoca workshop is going to be really interesting we're going to be talking about shadow work we're going to be talking about what is the Scalipoca the connection with the ancestors the connection with ancestral memories and um, divination divination so it's shadow work divination ancestry all in one workshop because I'm that nuts and then you're going to go home with your very own obsidian mirror that is going to be ritualized at this uh, ceremony. So it's going to be pretty cool. And I hope you all join me. So that's that. And let's see what the last oracle comes out. Now for the Tuscalipoca workshop, the early bird ends next week. So you can still have your ticket at $75. Mind you, this is a four-hour workshop. After July 10, it goes into regular price, which is $100. And yeah. All right, folks, let's do this. Our last oracle. And this one stuck to my hand. Oh, two did. So I guess we're going to have a two for, two for one. This is the Gospel of Aradia. And two cards came out together. We got truth again. So second card with truth. How interesting. Okay, what is truth? Okay. It reads, <clears throat> seek the truth, search your heart and your mind. You might not know all the facts of a situation. Do your due diligence regarding an important issue. Neither spread nor listen to gossip. 
Fluster and celebrate your authenticity. Apologize if you've been wrong. What does fact have to do with truth? It is said. What you see with your heart might be debated by your head. We can weave it and change it, bend it like light, make laws to contain it, illuminate it to make it right. Hello, Gabby. Welcome. So truth, seek the truth, search your heart and your mind. You might not know all the facts of a situation. Do your due diligence regarding an important issue. Neither spread nor listen to gossip. Foster and celebrate your authenticity. Apologize if you've been wrong. What does fact have to do with truth, it is said? What you see with your heart might be debated by your head. We can weave it and change it, bend it like light, make laws to contain it, illuminate it to make it right. So that was the first card. The second card was the card of creation, which I very much appreciate because you know that to me creation is undoubtedly related to goddess and we have kind of a lover's card creation the divine masculine and feminine <clears throat> we are almighty creators and creatrices even if we don't consider ourselves to be so Creativity is her birthright. It is said that witches create something from nothing, and this is true of all of us. Do not be afraid to take a creative risk. Think outside the box on an issue. There is not, nothing more blissful than to create something new. It is hope and all combined. It's the birthright of all, not a few. Herbs to ease the labor, songs to clear the room. I sing this baby to earth swiftly from the womb. That is so beautiful. I don't think we ever had this card before. And every creation, everything that we create is our baby. And this is some conversation that I've been having with some women and people who join the goddess tradition or that are aware of the maiden ma mother crone um, stages, divisions of divine feminine. And some women say, you know, I'm not a mother. I haven't birthed any children, so I cannot embody the mother uh, archetype to which my answer is, have you ever created anything? Because anything that we create, or look, or makeup, or dinner, um, something that we sew, or knit, or paint, or draw, or write, or sing, or dance, any, I mean, any creative endeavor is birthing something into, into life. So the mother archetype is not only birthing children of course women and people can birth children and that makes them a mom or a parent but that is not the only way that we can create there are so many different ways that we can create so you know hello jenny and hello macoro and bios welcome 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 so last card of today creation we're almighty creators and creatrixes even if we don't consider ourselves to be so creativity is her birthright it is said that witches create something from nothing and this is true of all of us do not be afraid to take a creative risk think outside the box on an issue there is nothing more blissful than to create something new. It is hope and all combined. It is the birthright of all, not a few. 
Herbs to ease the labor, songs to clear the room. I sing this baby to earth swiftly from the womb. And sometimes the womb is her hands or mind or gut is not necessarily our uterus, you know, it could be some other places on our body. So anywho, thank you all for joining. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. I can't wait to get out of this room because it's so hot. So thank you all for joining. Um uh, Jenny says, I think I happened here to listen the perfect time. And, and Margie, also welcome. And everybody, everybody was going to fight in. See, every time I say a word that I relate with a song, I start singing it. Um, please remember to get your tickets for the Tezcalipoca Worship. Prices go full on July 10 and until then the price is 75 the discount price um, and uh, see you on the 7th at the Collective Wanawak opening and see you on the 13th for the Tonantzin Mesli ceremony and on the 14th at the online the Colonizing the Goddess until we meet again I'll see you Monday here I'll see you Friday I'm thinking it's Friday. No, I see you Friday. So thank you all for watching. And until we meet again, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye. And thanks again for all the birthday love.